good time, didn't you, Doc? Huh? Didn't I tell you old Vince Dagan show you a good time? Yeah, I told you, I've got to get back home. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, it ain't gonna be dark, but who are you? <laughs> oh, come on. I know you like it. I've got to go now. I've stayed longer than I should already. I'm in such a hurry, honey. You know how I feel about you. Hmm? Yes, you know my pa. He whipped the skin off my back. I've got to get home before he does. I ain't scared of your pa. If he lays a hand on you, just tell me. I'll take care of you. No, no, Vince. Stop, Vince. Vince, stop it! Stop it, Vince! Vince! Hey, Vince. Come on, Lebro. Oh, come on, honey. Stop it! Come on, but you're drunk. Forget it. Go on, let him go if that's what he wants. Forget it, Dagan. Please, Vince, I don't want any trouble. We said leave it alone, didn't we? Anytime you want to finish this, Vince, you just let me know. Hey, wait, don't. Why, you. What's the matter with you? You're trying to start trouble around here and have the sheriff nosing into our affairs. I don't like this, Vince. You're taking too big a chance playing around with Sheriff Kincaid's daughter. All right. So I'm taking a chance. I happen to like it that way. Makes sense, Vince. That Kincaid's meeting and a wolf tracking a calf. So I heard. Well, his kind don't bother me none. <laughs> He's a drunk and a thief. We had to throw off the Ponderosa for stealing. Well, this is not the Ponderosa. And I don't plan on holding one little mistake against him for the rest of his life. All right, Dolly, forget it. Look, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight with you. Maybe Vince is everything I'd like him to be. But he's good to me. I get lonesome. That never lets me out of this house. I'll never forget your father being sheriff. He's seen a lot of the bad side of life. Maybe he just wants to protect you from the wrong kind of people. I guess he can consider you the wrong kind of people. Did you? But you don't consider me the right kind of people, do you? I didn't say that. You didn't have to say that, even when we were kids in school. All you Cartwrights consider yourself too good for anybody else. She had no business at the store. I told her to stay home. Well, wait a minute, there's nothing to get so excited about. Don't you tell me how to run my family. Now you get out of here and stay away from my daughter. Look, Mr. Kincaid, I've known Dolly for a long time. I think it's up to her to tell me whether or not she'd like to see me. She doesn't make the decisions around here. Look, I told you to get the house. Look, if you just listen, I'll look you. You try to understand. I ordered her to stay home. If she tries to see you or anybody else, I'll whip the hide off her back. You get out of here and stay away from my daughter. See you real soon, Dolly. I did. I even sewed your shirts the way you asked me to. Well, that's nice. Must have took you a slow day, didn't it? Just about. Sure. Well, I'm glad to see you got more to you than your mother had. Her now, she'd have gone out dancing or something as soon as I turned my back. So I don't have to talk about that. What else do you want me to talk about? Man does the best he knows how, and this woman goes running off with another man. 
you could do. It was my fault. I can buy to apologize. Apologize? No, try to. I couldn't sleep last night thinking. I don't know how to say this, but when you walked out on me yesterday, I just knew I ain't ever gonna let you do that to me again. I've been standing out there waiting for your paw to leave. I know how it is between you and him, the way he treats you. You don't know how it is. It's 
like being locked up in a cage. I can't stand it anymore. I know. And I ain't gonna stand by and let it happen to you. I'm gonna take you out of here. I, I don't think I'm taking too much for granted. I think you feel about me the same as I do about you. I feel about you. Just that I was never really sure of you. Oh, yeah, I know. I can't. You can see me in the morning. It's what I want more than anything else. People don't just do this. They don't just pack up and... What about my dad? I have been told this man. He can be pretty busy in the morning. We need to find him. Can I find him, honey? I'll be taking care of him now. Do it. tracks I found down below. Yeah, no company made tracks that big. Quite a pack of them, when you say? Yep. What do you make of it? Well, over there, it looks like something big. Yeah, it's a plain trail. Let's follow. I still see how the wolves drag or not. They didn't drag him. A couple of them probably were up to one of them got his teeth in his leg. Wolf got dragged. Yeah, I think we must have scared him. Huh? They didn't even touch the meat. We didn't do ourselves any favors either. They'll just drag down the next stray steer they come across. Now, what do you think we ought to do? Well, I'll go back and tell Pa what we run into. Why don't you two go on up to Traeger's cabin? See if you can hire him to help us out. It's a good idea. Now, I'll bug in with Traeger. We'll work out his place. Send a couple of those wolves for me. We'll see you around the end of the week. Which way they were headed? The trail's crossing. <laughs> you wouldn't run into your phone now, would you? Come on. Get out of here. The further we get from the moment flaps, the better I like it. Keep it digging. You know what's keeping that girl. Yeah, you should have kept that girl out of this. Everything came off real smooth. See, no money enough will be figured on. You know that ain't good enough for Vance Dagan. He wants the money and the girl. <laughs> I'm plenty sick of what he wants all the time. If that girl gets my way out. Now calm down, Ruby. I think it's right funny. We robbed the bank and he, he runs off with the sheriff's daughter. I think that's really funny. <laughs> I don't think it's so funny. If he doesn't show up here the ten minutes money to him. Now Vince knows what he's doing. And he's got that money in his saddlebags. <laughs> well now, did you boys have a good sleep for yourselves? He ain't been down out of these saddles for one single minute. You're setting a pretty hard pace, Kincaid. Doing the best we can. Well, your best ain't good enough. Not for me, it ain't. You spend less time worrying about keeping up with me and more time looking for signs you may find something. Now go on back there and take a good look this time. 
I'm heading up into the high country. You going on alone? It's faster. You'd only hold me up. If you see anything, fire a signal. That is, if you know how to use a gun. We better get back. Said they was headed for Fellas Crossing. They were when I my father. We split up. Step back, Jack. How many was it when you saw? I don't know. Is my father? Forget with about your father. Please don't let him take me back. Ben, don't take care of me. You said you wanted me to take care of you. That's just what I'm gonna do. Down below. Didn't even see me. Come on. Let's get out of here. I told you we'd get in trouble. Every time Dagan gets mixed up with a woman, we're in trouble. Ain't no ordinary woman. That's the sheriff's daughter. I guess one thing to hold up the bank at more than flats. But if any part of the job to wait around and get hung for it, you better cut the money into shares. Each man to be on his way by now. I'd think on that if I was you, Robbie. What chance would one man have alone out there, one man against all them possum? We stick together, we got a chance. We split up later, when we're out of danger. Just like Dagan figured it. Oh, it's Dagan and the girl. I told you not to work. That's what are they doing here? Oh, the boys. Why, you meant to take the other day, remember? Well, they were friends and I thought they might like to ride along with us for a while. Just surprise me for a minute, that's all. What took you so long? Why, hadn't you heard? Big bank robber and flats last night. In fact, we ran into a posse back of the trailer piece. They didn't see you, did they? Nah, we dodged them. Dolly, here's right good at dodging posse. She ain't a bit anxious to have her paw catch up to you. Yeah, I'll bet them bank robbers ain't a bit just to have her pop catch up to him either. <laughs> it's funny. A bank cashier was killed. No, it ain't funny, Pope. I'm sorry, man. Betty, no concern of ours, honey. The main thing is we keep your paw from catching up to us. in a cruise age. What brings you up around these parts? How we ran away thanks to Wolfstein and 
Cedar Canyon. Sign. Uh, yeah, we found they drove down one of our stairs. Adam sent us up here. I thought you might want to help. I remember you telling me one time, Mr. Trigger, about being a professional. Yeah, it's for money. Cost you ten dollars, and I keep the pelts. All right, you got a deal. Is it all right if we bunk with you for a couple of days? It's just yourself, but you got to pay for the rope. Say, yeah. Uh, speaking of wolf, you didn't run into Sheriff Kincaid back there. Kincaid? No, I should. You mean you haven't heard? There was a big bank robbery in the Flats last night. Bank robbery? Sheriff himself told me. Megan, what do you think? this gun right over your head. I'll take care of you later. You. What do you do here? I'm just a trapper, that's all. Cartwright boys asked me to help to catch some wolf and catch them in that beef. You got a lot of grub in that cabin. Tom, Tegan, you can't figure on holding up here, are you? You got a better idea. What's the matter, Tegan? Posse getting too close? Anybody else around here? Just the Cartwright boys. Folks don't come up here often. That's just fine. All right. Come on, house. Get him out of sight. I say, so you say, I don't think you know what you're doing. That posse we saw. How do you know that's all of them? Suppose they split up and come in behind us. Well, I'll figure that out when it happens. Poker! I play what I got in front of me. I never bet on what the next car's gonna be. Till it falls. Get out there, put those horses in the barn, and get some fire in here. On this place up. Trying to 
Dr. Posse, huh, Vince? Suppose I am. You know old man Kincaid. Would you want him catching up with Dolly when she's running off with me? I don't know. No, I wouldn't want him catching up with me either. Not if I just robbed the bank. What's he mean, Vince? Nothing. No pay him, no heat. Hey, what you got in the saddlebags, Vince? You don't seem to want to get very far away from it. You did rob the bank, didn't you, Vince? All right, so we robbed the bank. Funny that. What did you think was going to happen? I did that for you. I was gonna find the nice things you've never had in your life. But Vince, you have to kill for well, That bank clerk should know it went for his gun, not for the whole thing staking around. <laughs> Looks like you pushed a little bit too far this time, Vince. Who did that? I got the money for the girl, didn't I? What do you got? You're dead any time I tell Polk to pull that trigger. That's what you got. That's true, Mr. Conrad. <laughs> I ought to kill you, Dagan. I ought to kill you the time I caught you stealing from us. <laughs> should have done it. Now, don't you worry about it, boss. He's gonna get it. I possibly be back and Sheriff Ken K. Now, don't you think this could get that better? Why don't you think you brought that girl along? Shut up, the girl. Hey, now, that's a real good question, Vince. Why did you bring the girl? It's plain enough to see. That Sheriff Papa Hurst comes around here looking for her. Vince's gonna tell him to go away. Else that girl's gonna get back. Ain't that right, Vince? <laughs> Nice clothes for you, honey. Everything you've Don't worry about anything. Everything will be all right. Believe that, don't you? You two boys up here for a wolf hunt, huh? That's right. That posse is going to get them some wolves, too. And it's going to be the two legged cat. Listen to me. That posse is You're going to tell them you hired us as wolfers, understand? Ah, they're not going to believe that. They know you're taken. They're going to believe it all right. When they leave, you're going to ride along with us until we clear this part of the country. And there ain't going to be any miss after us. There are going to be two less cartwrights, understand? Put that horse away. Yeah. Hey, where's the girl? Well, what do you care? and he's gonna steal your girl away from me. Take it easy, Joe. Oh, don't worry, boss. They need us. They need us real bad. Don't push your luck. Leave them alone. How do you know the posse's even out there? They might turn back. Why ain't you taking that chance? Yeah, well, maybe you better be triggered while you're at it. Sometimes them posses get pretty nosy. Yeah. Like, right. You're gonna take a break. Oh, me. You're like a 
fool thing. You don't know what you're doing. You change your mind without rhyme or reason. Dolly, we got things to do. We're gonna bury Trigger. Well, honey, it's, it's the least we can do, ain't it? Find shovel in the barn. Flag, you watch him. Hollis here? Gonna help us. Up on your feet. Really, Paul? Dolly? You help. Clay, keep an eye on him. Stop looking at me like that. Are you trying it? You won't see your little brother. We're gonna get you, Dick. One way or another, we're gonna get you. Come on, Dick. Let's get started. What's the matter with you? Somebody gotta watch this, don't they? Besides, you wanna thank me. The thought of the bar. <laughs> How far do you think you're going to get after you leave this territory, Clank? <laughs> we do. Well, that ain't going to make much trouble. Sounds real great, Clay. Yeah. How many men do you think you killed? What are you doing with them, Dolly? You're not that kind. Come on, give me the gun, Dolly. You just want to save your necks. Yours and hearts. Yeah, that's right. I want to save our necks. I don't want to save your neck, too. I don't believe you. Nobody ever did anything decent for me. Nobody except Vince. Oh, nobody but Vince. You think Vince robbed that bank for you? He robbed it for himself. He'll kick you out the day he's tired of you. Don't say that. It's true, Dolly. You turned me in right along with Vince. Well, this is my chance to live. And I'm taking it. Nobody gives you anything but what you take for yourself. Come on, Dolly, that isn't so when you... You don't think I'd use this, do you? One more step. Yeah, 
Dolly. I think you'd use it. To keep from going back to that father of mine, I'd do anything. Joe tried to get away. I stopped him. Try. No, I'm going to pick you real good. Take it. I never did take much gut. Why don't you try taking a look at this one again? When I'm good and ready, I will. I'll stop. You did fine, darling. Riding back and forth through these canyons all night. What good does it do? Don't forget, Sheriff Kincaid hasn't had any more sleep than we have. Uh, Kincaid, he's like a wolf on the scent. He ain't gonna give up till he gets what he come after. No one We're by the man trigger's place. Kincaid might not have been there yet. Rest of you, take a look through that box canyon down there. Figured when I come to it, didn't I? Well, I got figured. But Vince, why don't you just tell us what we're gonna do? Well, I'm gonna stay in here. What about the rest of us? Sheriff don't know the rest yet. Ain't like you the posse would. You're going out there. I ain't talking to no lawman. You don't got no need to. Horse Cartwright's gonna do that for you. He hired you boys to hunt wolves. Like I said, remember? I'll try to remember. You better. I'm gonna be right in here with this gun on your little brother's head. And he's shooting that start, he gets it first. Now get. Just don't get nervous with that gun. Hurry up. Been some wolves pestering some for a cow. Well, Joe and me decided to ride up and talk to Mr. Trigger about it. Couldn't find a better man for the job, Mr. Trigger. Huh? No, he rode out early this morning to set some traps. I've seen you boys around before, haven't I? There, there's some men we hired to help us out. The oh. Sheriff Kincaid been by here yet? I ain't seen him, but Mr. Trigger said he saw him yesterday. Sheriff told him about the about the bank robbery. We've been out all night. You know Ken Cade. Yeah. I know him well enough to know that whoever those bank robbers are, they ain't gonna get away. I promise you that. Well, if you do see anything around, Hoff, you let us know, will you? We'll be around. Right. Good night. Same to you. be staying around close. What I want to know is how do we get out of here? Yeah, well, I don't know about the rest of you, but Clay, Punk, Roby, you can ride out anytime you want to. What do you mean by that? Well, you went out to the posse. I was told you were helpers working for us. They believed it. You can ride out anytime you want to. They won't stop you. Hey, listen, kid. You make sense, you know that? I'm no bank robber. I'm a wolf. I can ride right out of here. Ain't nobody walking. I'm running this shit back. And it looks to me like you're running right into the ground. Of course, you boys want to wait around here for a while. Sheriff Kincaid's bound to show up. He's going to be a little tougher to convince than that deputy. Vince, I'm scared. I want to get out of here. Dolly, what do you have to be scared about? You got all that money? You got a man like Vince Dagan to take care of?
Now you listen to me, Ollie. You're gonna get your cut. Yeah, you boys know when you're gonna get it. When the posse's got you hanging from a tree. Joe, you remember that old big old tree down the road of bees? Mm-hmm. That thing ought to be big enough to hang at least three of them out, don't you reckon? Oh, heck yes. Three of them and room for digging. Stop it! Stop talking that way! Oh, you didn't think it was gonna end any other way, did you, Dilly? Try to be decent, you cut rights. Poke, get rid of it. Yeah, go ahead, Poke. The posse will be here the minute you pull that trigger. That's right. You know, just that trigger of King King has got ears like a... That's what I hear. What about it, Dolly? You know a lot better than we do. Stop it! Vince, make them stop it! Never mind! I'll do it myself. No, you're not gonna kill anybody, Vince. You got a long way to go. You can't make it without us. You never was any good to never did any life. What we says about us right now, yeah, that makes pretty good sense. And I'm going to stop. No way. Well, it's real nice to meet your friends on a social level, Ellie. You cut right. You know everything, don't you? for this for a long time. she's gone with you. You're just what she's always wanted, Dagan. You know, your father was right. You're just no good, Dolly. I'm no good, at least not by your side. And that's the way I like it. Crash, man. chance to spend a single penny of it. You needn't worry about taking the boys, neither. They're all locked up tight in a jug down your jailhouse. That is what's left of them. Trev, wouldn't you like to know about Dolly? You know, she's been right here by your side since the boys brought you in. Running off with a man like Dagan. Why'd she have to do that, Ben? Well, maybe it's because she thought you, you didn't care. 
I think it was only the money of the bank robbers I was worried about. I found out Dolly was gone. Then you don't know what it's like trying to raise a girl. No, I guess I don't. But I do know what it's like trying to raise three sons. And sometimes you have to show them a little affection, understanding. You ever try that with Dolly? Bob was asking. Dolly, be patient with him. He needs you very much. Now, as for you, young man, next time you visit Dolly Kincaid, ask your father's permission first. Have an idea, he'll give it to you. If you don't wait too long, Ab, because at the rate that young lady's growing up, I might just ask permission myself. Hey, wait a minute, older brother. Don't you think we got troubles enough in this outfit with one lady's man? Well, how'd you ever get mixed up in this family? I'll never know. 